Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Village Craft here on Minecraft. We are in the village once again and uh, it's filling up quite nicely now. I haven't been up into uh, this watch tower in a long time but as you can see this one is pretty much done. Still loads to do though. Uh, this one, whoa, empty, 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 empty. We, uh, we really need to get on with some farms. Um, I will definitely be doing that at some point but a uh, couple of things to do today. Uh, first, there is a donkey somewhere over there, um, and I do want to go and get that quickly. I have got a horse, he's over there somewhere, diamond armoured up and that. Uh, I don't know if I did that on camera or not, I don't think I did, but uh, I have got a horse. Uh, we will be making like a little stable yard and things like that, we'll be getting some good horses and that. I think my block, uh, horse is a four and a half block horse actually, he really is there, he's a donkey. Uh, he really is a, a, a very good uh, horse. Um, but I want a really quick one as well. I want a couple of just normal horses and things like that. So we'll go ahead and do that eventually. Are you going to let me ride you now? No, you're going to be a git. Come on, donk. I don't know why I want a donk. I just want one anyway. Just for the hell of it. Oh, he really is being a bit hostile. Come on. We ain't got all day, mate. We ain't got all day. Oh, my goodness. Am I doing something wrong here? I'm sure they're the same you do as horses yes there we go okay so uh, let's stick that on and take him back to the village quickly um, but yeah today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing a few little bits and bobs um, but mainly uh, building a spawner I um, there is a spawner actually right there can you see that little thing that's a zombie spawner um, and I think there's a zombie spawner there is a zombie spawner right below the village um, so we'll probably use that one to uh, sort of why why? Surely you can get through that. Oh, no, you're obviously a bit of a derp. But uh, yeah, let's get the donkey in anyway. And uh, oh, good God. There we go. Let's get him down. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep him in here. I'm not going to uh, sort him out or do anything. God, these things are so slow. Let's take him to uh, my horse. He's just up there. There he is. Um, guys. Name the horse. Name the horse. Name the horse. We need a name. Uh, I'm letting you guys name things in here so uh, speaking of letting you name things the first job today is to get rid of 32 levels straight away by naming my bow but I've been promising to do that for a long time uh, so I am going to do that now now I actually have the levels and um, yeah today we are going to be uh, building a skelly spawner it is quite a way away I think it's about 300 blocks away from the village but it will be linked into a minecart system I think uh, we do need to actually get it on the go so uh, there is the god bow and uh, we're going to go ahead and rename that now. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> um, been brewing a couple of potions, things like that. But since then, I've really not done a lot on this village. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually got onto Minecraft. So uh, unfortunately, I haven't done a lot. But uh, we'll be soon changing that. I'm going to spend a lot of time uh, making some progress. We're going to build a uh, skelly spawn, like I said it today. We're also going to build an enchanting room at some point as well. And then it is literally getting on with the automatic farms. Um, also, a little update, uh, I think I may have mentioned this before, but I found the end. The end is somewhere over there. Only about five, 600 blocks away as well. Not far at all, which is good because we can go ahead and uh, beat the dragon. But then we can, um, for 500 blocks away, we really could um, link it to the village uh, and make um, uh, what they call it, an end of pearl farm. So that'll be quite handy as well. Um, yep, I found two water temples, so we'll be taking them on at some point. Won't be long. I'm really, I'm going to get out of this village soon once I've started getting some uh, some good gear and that going. And uh, we're going to go fighting everything. And of course, we're going to uh, fight the uh, the wither as well. We're going to get a wither skeleton farm on the go as well. So loads of plans, but uh, yeah, right. Let's stop talking and get on. So Charlie Miners recommended and a good name. For all of those of you that watch me play Borderlands, my favourite weapons were the Bada Boom rocket launchers in Borderlands 2. So this god bow is now going to be called the Bada Bow. And I think that was quite a genius name. 32 levels for the Bada Bow. There you go, that is our first named item. Da I haven't used this yet, but this will take the... Uh, Take the Ender Dragon down quite nicely, so uh, we'll go ahead and put that back quickly. And uh, yeah, I think there's a... Uh, what else have we got to do? Not really got much more to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, just put that there. 
put this back and then we'll um, I'll gather some supplies and then we'll go and head over to the uh, skeleton farm that we will uh, be making so we'll go ahead and put that back in there for now I'm gonna have to make like a little bank I think a little vault or something um, with an ender chest in it and that can be where all my god bows and stuff like that all my good armor goes and uh, yeah why well, you're branching a bit far out aren't you there's nothing over here dude okay so yeah like I said we have got a mob you know spawner over there but I actually do want a grinder uh, somewhere I can just stand let them build up and uh, do some really good levels um, so I do want a skeleton one as well and now I know like I said there is a zombie spawner under the far um, under the village and it is literally like just about there somewhere so that would have been perfect we will make a farm out of that definitely um, but for the sake of um, it's really low as well by the way it's like nearly on bedrock so it's not going to be too easy to make anything out of that but what I was just thinking was something like a you know the little uh, water elevator system I was just thinking of uh, having that going up so like you, you know you just stood in the uh, village we're running around and there's like 50 uh, zombies just like there trapped uh, that you can take out when you want so it's not going to be really for a, a, a grinder I don't think I might change my mind but I think I'll just make something novelty out of it but uh, yeah I do want a skeleton one as well because uh, not only do they drop bones um, I think they drop better experience correct me if I'm wrong on that one but uh, I'm pretty sure they they do drop better experience um, but they also drop bows like good bows um, and it'll be an endless supply of enchanted bows and things like that. Now it's totally random and they're never like the best enchants and that. But every little uh, thing helps and it also helps me make the god bows by putting them on the anvil and things like that. Um, right, last thing to do. So I say last thing to do. Um, yeah, I've got... Oh God, can I rename name tags? I'm not sure if I can. Yes, you can. Right, okay. Um, right, um... This was another suggestion. Now, old school Borderlands fans will know of two guys in Borderlands. And by the way, before I get on with this, I'm not going to name everything in the village after Borderlands things like that. But when someone comes up with a really good name um, for things, I uh, I am going to go ahead and go along with it. So, uh, old school Borderlands fans should know who Mo and Marley are. They are the, uh, the two skags that you fight really early on in the uh, game. And um, I asked for names not only for the uh, bow which I've just gone ahead and done I asked for names for the um, the two guards that we made outside the pumpkin guards that keep these spawning because I haven't given them name tags so uh, I can't remember who it was I will look that up for you but um, I can't talk and play at the same time I'm so bad at that but uh, yeah someone suggested in the chat um, on one of my comments to name the two um, the two guys Mo and Marley from Borderlands so thank you for that that really was um, quite a funny one actually I did enjoy that one quite a lot but uh, yeah like I said I will look up your name in a minute and because uh, I'm going to take a cut anyway and work to get over to the skeleton farm and uh, I will give you a shout out for that one so uh, yeah let's go ahead and make our uh, Mo and Marley guards and hopefully if we name tag them up they will not despawn so have we got two pumpkins yes we have now we've got a roof on there so the uh, the rain won't hurt them. I literally think it was because there wasn't name tag that the team spawned. Because uh, all the other, we've got another snow golem, we've got Mike obviously and we've got the uh, jacket potato woman. Um, and they haven't despawned so uh, they've been named. Okay, right, let's go ahead and stick the pumpkins down if we can. Can I without a block on there? No, I think it's because there's a block on there. Good damn it. Um... Yep, yeah, that's got in my inventory. Good. Okay, right. So, boom. Boom. Night time is a coming, so I'm going to be quick about this one. Um, do I want it right above the red? Or do I want it up there? I think, uh, yeah, we'll give him a bit of space. We'll give him a little bit of space. So there we go, so there is Mo, and there is Marley. What a brilliant name, what a brilliant name for them too. So uh, yeah, there'll be plenty of things to name in this village and things like that as well. Um, so let me know what you think. Like I said, I want my horse name in. <coughs> so uh, anyone think of any good names for a horse, or the donkey, or uh, anything else, let me know. 
Uh, yeah, so right, okay, we look like we're about good to go now, so uh, I might want to see stick around for a second or two um, while Mo and Marley are in action. If there's any zombies want to spawn for us, but uh, I don't think there is. Nope. Okay, right, we'll see them again at some other point. So I'm going to go gather some materials now and uh, then take a little cut and then we'll go straight back to, uh, we'll go straight to the uh, skeleton farm. Like I said, it's about 300 blocks that way. Um, and uh, yeah, start making our spawner because uh, we haven't got a, well, say grinder, we've got a spawner, we need a grinder. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are in position just about. Uh, brought everything I needed apart from uh, forgot about torches. So uh, luckily um, my game gamma is bright anyway. So uh, I don't really need that. I just could do with some uh, just to see the, uh, sorry, stop the uh, skellies from spawning. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. But this is the area anyway. Let's uh, Let's make a few torches. You never know when you need them, and uh, we'll go ahead and light the uh, light the biatch up. So it's just here. It's just here, uh, and like I said, it's not lit up, so they will spawn. So we'll just have to make sure that we get them all quickly and spawn again. Stop it! Ah, I hate skeletons. Right. Let's just light the hell up out of it. Yeah, I think uh, don't think anyone's getting back past that. Um, right, so this is the uh, basis of our skeleton spawner, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be making a uh, going to be making a. Put anything in here? Oh, we have. Hello, music discs, name tags. Uh, I thought I'd cleared these out, but obviously I haven't. Right, so let's get this cleared out, and we're going to be making a water elevator system thingy my bobber uh, so yes the first thing we need to do three four five six seven it's nine by nine we want it so uh, I believe it's four on each side isn't it one two three yeah so we need to clear it out to there now this won't actually take that long I don't think but uh, you never know with me it might take a while might take a while right so that's one two three four there one two three okay so we need to take this side out now hopefully nothing's going to come around the corner and uh, get in our way while we do this but uh, it'll all be filled in eventually um so yeah definitely all be filled in so nothing can get through one two three wow yeah, it needs to be, all of this needs to go then. All of this needs to go. Right. Luckily I've brought a lot of stone with me. And uh, we could probably do with some cobblestone as well. Two, three, smelting some cobblestone. So we'll pick all this coal up while we're here as well, because we could do with uh, maybe melting some cobble down to normal stone, because I want to use stone for this design in all. And uh, we're going to have to basically custom make this room now. So that's one, two, three, four. Let me get the, uh, wow, my inventory's full already. So uh, luckily I brought some chests with me. I knew this was going to happen. That was clever. Right, so let's get all the stuff we don't want in there. So helmet, zombie flesh, bone, name tag, music discs, saddle, wheat, uh, full on arrows, that, 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 well, that's cleared it up a little bit. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, yep, so that all needs to be stone. Uh, where's my stone? Is that all I brought? One stack? Wow. Um... Right, okay, well in that case then, we're going to need to put a crafting table down. Um, oh my God damn you! Right, crafting table's down. We need to make a furnace quickly. We need to make a furnace, and then we need to fill that furnace up with coal and stone. Right. 
So, like I was saying, one, two, three, four. So that is how the room wants to be there. Let's just get it built first. We can tidy it up later. One, two, three, four. One, two, that needs to go back two then. Long process, but uh, it won't it won't take that long once we actually get the room sorted. We can uh, fly through it then. So that's one. Right, let me just check. That's right. One, two, three. Four. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Right. We are right now. get this layer out and then we should be good to go right okay we'll uh, we'll light it up all up again just so nothing spawns and uh, let's finish the room off then so let's just get all this in here um, that's correct like I said we can make it all look tidier again soon but just for now let's get the general basis done so it doesn't matter about what's on the floor because we're going to be digging the floor out anyway um, yeah we could really do without not being there But unfortunately it is. But we're gonna have to move it. For now. Um why am I doing this with a spade? Right. Where is them ladders? There, there, and there. So yeah, I'll just have to go whoop like that for now. Okay, right. So this is our 9x9 nine nine room complete. That is probably the longest bit so far. It should be better after that. So we'll leave a little gap for us so we can uh, get through to our stuff. Thank you, more of them is needed. Okay, right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's just fill this up with torches for now. Okay, so... That is our room. One last check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lovely. Right, so now what we've got to do is dig two blocks down all the way. Just so uh, this is basically to stop things from actually spawning on it. Uh, sorry, if they obviously things spawn, even with the water flow current, they could just come over here and go bush like that, jump on there. So uh, we dig down and it just clears the way so nothing can get blocked or stuck on anything. Um, and that means when they actually do spawn in, they'll be spawning on the water underneath and just flow straight down. So that is what we want. And I've just realised I haven't brought any water with me. I've brought let me go up to the surface. There's uh, plenty of water around. Unless we can find any in here. Which I doubt. But we can worry about that in a minute. Right, that's one layer dump. Boring and grindy, I know, but it needs to be done. Yeah. Get everything perfect. We want to make this as efficient as possible. Also, apologies if you can hear that in the too loud on the recording, but uh, next door neighbours got the joiners in for the week, it seems. Every time I try and record, they uh, start bang clattering about. I think he's having all his windows and doors redone and... It's a bit of a pain in the backside when it's your days off and you want to do some recording. What can be done? Okay, right, we're two down now. I can take that off. Let me just have a look if there's any water about. No, there's blooming lava though, isn't there? Don't want lava, one water. Was the water this way? Oh god. There is water, but how much? Just one. And that one is stopping that creeper. Well, I may as well go and collect it. Just to, uh, 
Well, I nearly missed him then. Mm. Is there any more water around here? We're in a ravine. Oh, God. If there's any more water around here, I can pick that up. It'll save you going to the surface. What are you hiding down there for? Nope, can't see any that way. Well, there's a lot of zombies about, though. Quickly. Don't want to lose where I am, either. Water? Please, water? I can't believe I didn't bring any water. What a goon. Oh my god, I'm going to be good in. What? I'm back to where I started. Get out of my killing room. Well, no water, unfortunately. There is some there, but uh, we need two. In fact, I'm just going to go up to the surface and get a load. May as well do that now as well, before we actually uh, start things off here. Can't believe I didn't bring any. What an idiot. Make a permanent water source while we're down there. But we've got nine buckets anyway, so we could probably get a couple of them. Um, no water. Let's just go to the surface. It's really not that far up, to be fair. Now you watch. I'm sure I was surrounded in water. Ah, there you go. There's some here. That's fine. Four buckets, that'll do. Be enough to make a uh, permanent water source and uh, keep a couple just in case. Right, back down then. You stay there. So, all this is going to be connected to the village eventually. Uh, like I say, it's about 300 blocks away from the village, but I will just dug, dig sorry, a tunnel there um, to help us out. And uh, yeah, right, okay, so here we go then. Um, I'm just so tempted to block that off. Stop things from... Oh no, I'm just wasting my stone here. Just wasting my stone. No need. If anything comes and rips us, then... I will be angry, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so, we're making a trench now. That goes all the way down here. Um, oh no, I'm not. I'm making a permanent water source first. Um... Right. Okay, just to be safe, I'll slab that so I don't pick that back up. Um, them two water buckets there can go in there for now. As well as the glass. Um, Rotten flesh, bones, arrows, chest, signs, dirt, there. Just try and keep an empty-ish inventory. Right, okay, so we've got our permanent water source. Um, let's bucket it up then. There we go. Okay, so what we want to do now is put that there. And that should flow to there. That's perfect. Then that can go down there. And look, they have a depth strider on, so it shouldn't cause too much of an issue. And then what we want to do then is dig two three four oh this is not helpful let me get some cobble back down there um is there anything up here while i'm here i am a bit nosy uh no right let's block that off then right one two three four then all the way around here. And then one, two, three, four. And this, this can all be uh, blocked off of cobble because we're not going to need to see this. And then all it needs is the bottom to be taken out. And uh, then water to be placed down. If we've done this correctly, I know this sounds really OCD here, but I want to just take that out and make it stone. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on the other side. 
but first I'm just going to check that that's right that should flow nicely to there yes it does right okay well let's just get on with it um, now if we create a source here I've just done that in the wrong place I meant to do it there let's just go along all the way down here perfect that's all flowing nicely now so we can now go down here and just block the whole lot off on one level so nothing else spawns there and do the same here and then that's one side done so we nearly got the uh, spawning platform um, flow system going that is good that is good um, right it's over here um, didn't want to do that yes I did one two three four whoa why is everything under everything interesting well may as well explore it while we're here never know when we can find some cheeky diamonds especially if there's a uh, open lava but uh, it doesn't look very open no, I think we're just wasting time here but I like to be nosy yeah I think we're just wasting time here well that means more stuff to uh, get on with so I need all this to be blocked up here There we go. Uh, one, two, three, four. And again, we'll go for a permanent water source. So we can fill all that in. Um, that one, pick up that one, grab that one, pick up that one, grab that one. One more for there. Now this will go away. Thank you. Should possibly torch all that up, but uh, hey, I'm lazy. Okay, so again, for OCD purposes, I'd want that to be stone. Beautiful. Um, some more in there oh god damn it forgot about the middle right now if that's all worked correctly yes okay so let's go from there. Right. Stone there. Stone there. Oh, that's really going to annoy me. Is that gravel? Yes, it is. That looks like cobblestone now. I think it was just tricking me with gravel. Yes, it was. Like I said, I could do all this um, tidying up off camera. But sometimes it doesn't matter. We just need to get on. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. Come on. There we go. Right, so... That is our spawning booths complete. 